This is this is even kind of a state of the art procedure in humans, and that's where we were trained to do this at a human hospital. Um, but for non resectable liver cancer, this would be the treatment of choice. The human hospital and the animal hospital are very similar in very very much the same way. Uh, both want to deliver quality medical care to their patients, uh, whether the patients are in a bed or, in our case, in a cage. I think the um, commitment to care on both sides is, is very similar. I think some of the challenges are the same. You know, health care for humans is expensive, health care for animal care is expensive, uh, equipment is expensive for both human and animals. We have much of the same uh, equipment in our hospital here as you would find in any human hospital. Historically, things are tried in animals first and then they get translated to, to human medicine and now we're just starting to be able to take back, uh, you know, we call it reverse translational medicine where we start taking some of the techniques they're doing in humans and applying that to the animals. You know, places like Manhattan uh, where we can actually, where there's a large population of pets is, uh, is, is, um, is where the demand came from. Uh, it, it's, it's, and, and there aren't that many of us. There's only about 300 American boarded veterinary radiologists uh, in the world. I felt that the doctors were amazing and uh, they followed up, they called every day to make sure that he was doing well. I think that when you take on a pet, it's, you're taking on like a child, like a loved one, and you do whatever it takes and however much it takes to ensure the welfare of, of that pet.